Some of you are gonna be really pissed at me once this video is over. People express that they have felt targeted all their lives and in a way that was my case too I felt the same thing once things cleared up for me and I understood the law of attraction and how we can manifest things I started to think if we can manifest good things we can also manifest bad to come into our lives what type of family did you grow up around how did they treat you right how did they speak how was their lives? What did you see? Did you see struggle? I saw struggle. I saw my family accepting jobs just because they needed the money. And no matter how much they grew with time, because whatever you do, you gain experience, they still just accepted whatever was given to them. Now, I shared this in a video years ago, but I have a family member that have also had experiences like mine, where she felt that people just didn't like her and very early in her life she was married so she could do this very early in her life she decided not to work anymore because of the experiences that she was having outside she became very paranoid and, and afraid of the world of being outside she became a christian and now she's a true believer in a higher power i know that she found her thing believing in god and spreading the gospel that's her thing but now let's go back to the topic. We have to take some of the responsibility. We have to be accountable for the things that happen to us in our lives, not just the good stuff. Accountability for the way our lives go. When things go well, you know, it boosts our ego, our confidence. See, I'm happy. Look at how well I did. I won. Um, I got what I wanted. I got the girl. I got the guy. Yes, I got the job. Whatever it is. But when things go wrong, it's somebody else's fault. I had a, you know, acquaintance once said, you, you have a chip on your shoulders. I don't know what she was talking about. I was regular. I was chill. I just didn't want to be bothered by people. And the only way I reacted angry or annoyed or whatever, however I handled it, it was because somebody was messing with me. So I didn't understand what she was talking about. But today I understand it. Today I understand it. See, I educated myself. I had better opportunity than the generations in my family before me, right? So I educated myself. I got a college degree. I got countless certificates in computer technology, computer this, computer that. So I can do a lot. But I was still at seven low wages. Why is that? Right? I wanted more because when you feel like a, you have an X on your back, like you're a target, you always try to strive for more so that nobody messes with you so you got your issues together, right? Today, I could accept a, a, a job that is paying me less because if I'm happy there and, and, and that's what I want to do, I don't care what anybody has to say. It's my life. I'll go the, in the direction that I want to. Back then, I was accepting jobs because I'm like, first of all, they'll call me and tell me how great my resume was and how impressive it is. So if my resume is so impressive and it's just what you're looking for, why are you offering me less money than you advertise? But guess what? I will accept the job because that's all I heard. That's all I saw, right? But then I also would take it personal that they didn't like me, they didn't like my face, or maybe they were racist and all kinds of crazy stuff, all that negative talk that we do to ourselves. So what is that doing? Little did I know. Little do you know. That is lowering your vibration and attracting more of that treatment, all right? Okay, so you get the gist of it, right? Now, it took you a lifetime to develop this toxic mindset that you probably don't know you have. You're still thinking that everything is happening outside of you. You don't know that this is happening internally. I mean, it's obvious that we're living in, in um, spiritual times. You are attracting this. You have to take responsibility. It is obvious that we're doing. So now, it took you a lifetime to develop that mindset. It probably ain't going to take you a lifetime. Lifetime meaning however old you are, right? It's probably not going to take you 20, 30, 40 years to clean it up, right? But you have to clean it up for things to change. See, when this was happening to me back in the day, 
right? And I was like, oh, the world is against me and everybody's gang stalking me. Once I learned those terminologies, those terms, that's what I started calling it, right? After I watched my few uh, gang stalking videos and a few target individual videos, that was exactly what was happening to me. And I started to live in that mindset. I didn't call myself a target individual, but I'm like, damn, I might be targeted. But that only motivated me to stop it. When I realized what's going on, I have to put my foot down and I'm going to fight against it. So I started to work to better myself, to heal myself. And that is when I stumbled upon the topic of spiritual awakening. Once I stumbled upon the topic of spiritual awakening, I said, there is hope. And the more I learn, I practice those things. I practice them because I wasn't going to let someone who came into my life for a few months destroy my life and just they just win and I just lose. Why would I want to live like that? Right? Literally, like, why would I want to live like that? So I started to study how to, how to heal myself spiritually and all that stuff. Now, what do you have to do? You have to change your entire perspective about life. You have to erase the programming that you have in you. Every time you have a bad thought, you have to try to find another perspective because you're probably wrong, okay? You're probably confusing intuition and overthinking because my gut feeling, no. Your paranoia that's coming from past experiences. You know, I had a friend that did something to me in the past. I had an ex that cheated on me or my ex cheated on me. So now I'm vigilant, right? Now I'm paranoid. That's the negative talk that we do to ourselves. And what do we do when we start thinking like that? We attract that exact same thing that we do not want. You may say, you know, I'm only repeating what I've heard. That's because I am living proof that that is a fact. Because once I changed my mindset and I told myself that maybe it's me, it's not everyone else. Maybe it is the way that I'm thinking. Because see, I'm learning law of attraction, spiritual awakening, da 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 But let me try it. Let me try it. And no lie, within one, within one to two months, within a couple of months, I didn't even notice if anybody was watching me. I didn't even know if they were watching me, if they were following me. Because here I am inputting new information, doing new data entry in my head. I'm learning about spiritual awakening. I'm learning about um, spiritually um, cleansing myself. I'm learning about winning the lottery. I'm winning about how millionaires, how rich people think. I'm learning a lot of the stuff that I never learned. Because what I learned was a poor mentality right you're a victim they're they're racist they don't like you um this is how they treat us because we're poor because we're this we're always victims even if we're not using the word victim so check your background you may say well we didn't grow up poor but then what is it were you ignored were you raised by a narcissist right did somebody talk down to you did your teachers treat you like less what happened? What traumatic experiences did you go through in your life, you know, in, in, your, in your background that caused this domino effect for your life to go in that direction? Something happened, okay? Now, you also have to develop in an optimistic mindset. It can be done. You can do it. If they did it, and they did it, and she did it, and he did it, then you can do it. If I could do it that means that you can do it you just have to try but if you want to stay stuck on the mindset that the world is against you and that's how you want to live hey knock yourself out but if you don't want to live that way you have to change you